can't hurt my kids by living in polygamy. We also wonder that too, Christine. But it's Mary <laughs> and Emma. Be my friends a like, subscribe, and comment down below, y'all, because they um, recently dropped a trailer for the new episode nine. And you know, Christine raised a really good question: if she had hurt her kids by living in polygamy, I feel like. I mean, you know something. It's kind of fifty-fifty. It's I like looking say, in the rearview mirror right now. There's no like, point. You know, really. There's no point. Hindsight is twenty-twenty, right? But she raised a good question, though. I mean, listen. All every parent can ask that question. Do I do right by my kids, raising them as this? Do I do right by my kids, raising them as that? Do I do right by my kids doing X, Y, Z? Like, no, every parent will ask that question. The beautiful thing about being parents is this. You get to raise your children in the way you see fit. And when your kids have their kids, they get to raise their kids in the way they see fit. <laughs> and nobody's going to get it completely right. Yeah. We'll make our mistakes. We'll pass it on to the next generation, yeah. not to fall into these pits. But guess what? They may decide, I do want to fall into this pit. Like, and that's okay too, you know? But because I'm, maybe they feel like they can do that better than you. You know, maybe they can avoid certain things. So I, I just feel like it's one of those um, treacherous roads to go down. Yeah. You know, did I, because there was some good about polygamy. Well, let's name it. That okay. for their kids. Okay, for the children, you get to have your siblings. Your siblings. You're never going to be able to, um, and then you're not. You're not alone. Okay. You get to learn social skills. Extra parents. Okay. Well, only extra you one they have, have really is Janelle. But you, well, Michael T obviously felt good with Robin. Aspen, I remember, went to go live with Robin. Um, at one point when she and my Kelty went their separate ways, they used to live together. Aspie moved in with Robin. Um, so yeah, you have that extra ear. Right. You know, that's not your parent, but it's like a, a safe place, a comfortable place. Right. Obviously, Christine was like the disciplinarian, it yeah. seems, appears to me to be. Because I even remember when Janelle was telling her how the guys had done X, Y, her boys had done X, Y, Z, and Christine was like, and she's like, and Cody called them disrespectful, and Christine was like, but were they disrespectful? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, so it seems as though Christine was a disciplinarian. Janelle was a soft place to land, because she's right. like, I wasn't home enough, you know, so I just spoiled them, yeah. right? So Janelle was that safe space. So they had the best of both wor worlds. Sometimes when you just have parents, some parents, the two of them don't listen. Right. So, you know, uh, the two of them, they, you know, they wouldn't lower that gentle wing to their kids. Right. But if you have somebody else, you know, so I think that's the beauty of polygamy. I also feel like, um, hey, hand-me-downs, you know, you can save some money with polygamy, like hand-me-downs. I'm sure maybe the kids don't like that. Okay, from the kids' perspective, okay, probably that's not one of the good ones. Okay, that's not one of the good ones, right? But yeah, I mean, we've named siblings, um, social skills, uh, and then you also learn how to compromise, right? So it really helps you when you um, go off to college, yeah, right? Because you learn how to live with others, right? You know, so you learn how to navigate those spaces, learn how to navigate life, you know? Um, yeah, so I think. Th those are good. Those are those are some good ones. We've listed four. Well, let's list the negative. <laughs> okay. Let's see the negative if the negative that, outweighs the positive. Okay, I and mean, then we can give Christina an answer. Okay, I think one of the negatives don't have a decent daddy. Um, no, I wouldn't say that because I mean that's not. I, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say that. I will not say that because look at the guy with five wives. I was talking about for Christine's kids. We're talking about what. Uh, we're talking about the positive and the negatives. And oh. with them being raised with polygamy, for them specifically. Oh, oh, for oh, specifically. <laughs> I want to say one, they okay. don't, they didn't get a decent father. Two, I would say that um, poor Aspen had to raise all these kids, and now she don't even want to have kids. To help to raise so that trauma, Logan don't even want to have kids. Her mother, 
She's the eldest of her mother's um, children. So the older siblings. Yeah, eh, woy. Woy. You only have one sibling after you. That's it. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to list everything else that comes with an older sis being an older sibling. <laughs> what? That's what, that's a whole another video. But um, had basically don't want to raise kids. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I I would like to wait a couple of years. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just because. Um, but what I feel like that um, older sibling trauma for one, okay. two I will also say um, don't have a decent daddy. Okay. Three I will also say not enough attention. I feel like they I have know. seriously been deprived of attention. And, all and of them also have from their mom because their mom was, was putting so the other busy. kids first other for kids a while first because you know these are other people's children. And then also this right this them. serious need to have attention. Attention, yes. To seek attention, which I don't know, really. they weren't really getting it with their dad. And they then, weren't getting it with their dad, and well, so you know they may act up, especially with Gwen. Yeah, Gwendolyn, you know. But I would say those are maybe the four major okay, negatives. So it's four four. Well, I guess fifty fifty then. That's what I'm saying, Christine. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Don't go down this road. It's not necessary. You did the best you could with what you knew how. Yeah. You grew up in polygamy. So, I mean, what else the hell were you supposed but to do? But let's think about the weight. I think maybe the weight of the negative is heavier than the weight of the positive. I can't be, can we say that? Mm, I can't. I really cannot. But I, I think, mean... No, Cody was just selfish and he was irresponsible. And he never should have been greedy enough to go into polygamy. Well, his daddy told It was told nothing himself. but greed and lust. It was nothing but greed and lust. It had nothing to do with no religion where Cody was concerned. No. And he said so to Suki. His weenie led him What did he strength. say? Did he say it's, it's all about... It's, what did he he say? said, I'm a polygamist. It's all about ego, baby. <laughs> I was like, what? And I got the biggest ego as I, my friend Ken was trying to warn as us about. As he swish swished his wine. <laughs> what? Crazy. But, um... Yeah, let me see. see. Yeah, don't go down, don't go down road. this road, girl. It's not, it's but not, I mean, because yeah, everyone makes mistakes. Nobody is perfect. It's like no. we are all. One thing I will say though, with parenting, most of the time, we're just honestly trying to get through the day. I guess not even get through it. We're just trying to really just do the best. We really care yeah. about those kids, and we want to be the best parents. I think most parents want that. Yeah, for sure. You know, and so because we have that intention, like, my God, just give yourself some grace. Like, you had the best intention. It wasn't like you went with the intent to harm. Yeah. You know, so. I feel like Christine's a mistakes, good mom. Mistakes, so, and, and the testimony to the fact that you did the best you could and the kids understand that. Is the fact that I mean, look at your wedding, they're all around you, apart from Gwendolyn, you know, um, who I'm sure she has a very, very good excuse. Well, actually, somebody raised because I actually posted a poll question on our community page, and mm -hmm. I was asking, who, What do you think is the reason behind Gwen not being there? I said, Was it Christine, her not getting along with her mom? Mm -hmm. Was it because of Peyton? And somebody raised a really good question. I'm trying to find her name so I can shout you out. Um, what was it, David? No, somebody actually said, where, 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 where was she? Okay, so this is from Easy Prozac. Easy Prozac. She says on her, <laughs> anyway. Okay, but she said, so she posted this about an hour ago. She said on her Patreon, Gwendolyn had mentioned being tricked into signing something for filming and that she didn't think production liked her. Is it possible it is because of the show and not her family? Oh, because okay. it was filmed the show. The wedding was yeah. Filmed? I saw three cameras. Oh, so are we going to see the wedding then? Yeah. Oh, ooh, I have a feeling we ooh. are. So I mean, oh. I guess that's a because you know I don't think hers was filmed. No Her wedding was wasn't not. filmed. Yeah. And and maybe she had wanted hers to be filmed, and they said we're not filming any weddings, but then they filmed the scene. Or maybe she and just she doesn't like, like production, and that's why she didn't want to Or maybe she doesn't like those kinds of things being filmed. Yeah. But my thing is, is that still a good enough excuse for you to miss your mother's wedding? Ah, I feel like that's a little oh, bit I mean, of a selfish she, reason. Sometimes you got to stand for something. If you don't stand for something, you know. It's you your mama right getting married to love her life after she has been through a tumultuous divorce and a hellish marriage. Yeah. And you're not going to go and rejoice in her having her happiness because of some cameras. 
I feel like that's not unacceptable. But yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, that's not. That's I not like how you say that to the side of your mouth. I feel like that's not acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying. That's just how I feel. Right. But right, right, I mean, right, I'm trying not to judge because at the end of the day, that's her daughter. Christine still looks happy, even though Gwen was not there. Yeah, she did. So. They, my, all I of them look very happy. All of them looks very happy. Anyway, but easy Prozac. Um, great, <laughs> great question. I love. I like your little easy Prozac. Okay, easy. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, but yeah. That so funny. that's just my opinion on it. But yeah. it's Mary and Alma. I you guys to like, to subscribe, and comment down below. Do not forget to join us this Sunday for yes. the live watch party of season eighteen, episode nine of Sister Wise. And guys. Karen, stop beating yourself up. <laughs> we gotta stop beating ourselves up. You know, this is life. We're all trying to navigate this, this life the best we can. And yeah. it's not easy. No. And the kids will understand when they have their own children. That's for you know? sure. And that's all, that's all we can do. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, give yourself grace, lots of grace. And, you know, and if, you're, if the children are judgmental, it's okay. It's, it's all right. Listen to them, you know. Um, because that's part of their healing. They got to talk about it, whatever. Allow them to do that. Yeah. And take accountability, you know, um, ask for forgiveness, um, and give yourself grace, okay? Yeah, y'all. Bye. Bye. God bless.